Being a furniture designer is all about blending the line between design and art. It's all about holding expression over concept. And it's all about being as free as possible and as exploratory as possible with no regret and no limitation to where you can take it. The first step in making this design is inspiration. Uh, we drew a lot of sketches, um, talked to our head ceramicist, and then put down a form. Um, at that point, uh, we work with him to coil build uh, the initial form. The coiling process is a process where you take cords of clay and then you blend those cords together to create a solid wall or a body. So it really allows you to do just about any shape you could possibly want. The accretion process is a process that we developed after looking at tree fungus and we were also looking at corals and how they build themselves. We mimic a very natural sedimentary build-up process. We have an idea and we're going to make it happen and the natural process assists you in that. And there's inherent beauty. If you read it and you're still sensitive to it, you can take it to a place that's beyond what it would do on its own. We spray the glaze usually when we want to achieve a very even application. So just like we spend years researching one color, firing it, adding slightly different minerals, we'll also do lots of texture tests. We use a gold luster. It's 24 karat gold suspended in a mix of herbs. It's like an ancient Egyptian recipe. We've been chasing these very difficult to find colors, especially pink. Pink is a very rare color in nature. Pink is relatable to sex. It's relatable to femininity. It's relatable to a lot of different things. The very last step in the process is tooling a brass plate for the bottom and feet. Most of what we do we weren't professional at when we started doing it. Um, and that's really important for us that all of our forms, all of our shapes come from a place of not bowing down to the material but making material bow down to our fantasy.